Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 31st of May 2023. I hope you are keeping well. Um, some news stories are clearly good and some are clearly terrible. And then there are those that are less clear, I think. And I think there's one that I can't decide is a good story or not today uh, in the Bangkok Post. Um, reporting that in Sulatani, which is down in the south of Thailand, uh, a, a boy has uh, been making pictures uh, out of modeling clay um, to raise money for his mother's cancer treatment. Now, it's a kind of feel-good story in the way that, I mean, you know, the boy is doing something useful and uh, he's actually been taken under the wing of a, a national artist. In Thailand, we have people referred to as national artists, recognized as being uh, you know, experts in art, and uh, they often act as teachers and stuff like that. Um, so there's the kind of feel-good thing there that someone, you know, the kid is doing something useful that, that's, and, and producing art as well. Um, and then there's the point of, um, well... Should any child be kind of needing to uh, sell things to support their parent who is uh, undergoing cancer treatment? You know, it's uh, yeah, Eesh. we ought not to be doing that. The free treat, free health treatment around the world uh, is useful. Now we do have a kind of healthcare system here in Thailand that applies to some things and for some things, but not necessarily everything. And whether or not you qualify for it is also a bit tenuous. It's not exactly, it's kind of supposed to be universal, but it isn't quite <laughs> like many things in Thailand here. It's always a bit of a not quite, not quite. Uh, th that's about it really is all I can say. Um, but since his mother is, I don't know what kind of cancer his mother has, but anyway, today is the 31st of May, which is World No Tobacco Day. So it's a give up smoking day. So, you know, if you've ever, if you're a smoker and you've felt like giving up, give it a go today. Start today. You're never too late to give up smoking. Uh, my mum gave up smoking after, I can't imagine how many years, 60 years or something like that. She gave up when she was very old. And even though she had been smoking for many years and definitely it was causing problems on her lungs within like about two years, you know, many of those problems had cleared up. And so um, you can give up, you know, you really need to give up now, right? Give up as early as you can. Um, but uh, even if you've thought, well, I'm too old to give up now. No, not true. You can do it and give up now. It will be beneficial to your health, whatever your age. Right. Shall we get on with the game of Sudoku? I see a New York Times style thing. What I see is the four and the seven blocking across here. And that's going to give me a four and a seven in those two squares there. By the way, I forgot to mention this is the LA Times expert level game, but you knew that because you clicked on the link, uh, didn't you? You knew it already. This is what four and seven in those squares there. I can't say which is which, but that means that we will be left with three, three, five, six. And okay, we've got five and six here, so that's got to be a three. <clears throat> and uh, actually I see something a bit different now I see sevens blocking like this so there's an easy number that we can grab hold of first of all If you can hear the sound of a meowing, yapping cat behind in the background, yeah, so can I, but uh, I've no idea why. Three's blocking across here. Here's a three. He's just trying to throw me off my game. You know, I have to put up with this. <laughs> I have to put up with the, uh, the adverse effects of cats meowing, um, or a cat meowing, I should be, I should say.
Well, I've seen something else. 512 blocking down here. Again, I don't know if it's going to mean anything, but I do see the 512 blocking down here. So we've got these squares, which contain 5, 1, or 2. Uh, I've got a 2 here, and I've got a 5 here. Uh, and 1's... I uh, don't know. Uh, okay, so again, not particularly fruitful, but let's have a look here. So this 5, 1, 2 in the other three squares. So here we're looking for 4, 8, 9. So, yes, that's good. Um, so 9 blocks up here and 9 blocks up here and 9 blocks across there. So that will give us... A nine in that square. Ah, I like the nines. Look, got nines like this. And I can see very quickly nine blocks across these rows like this, which is going to give us a nine in that square there. Uh, now I've forgotten what this was. I know this was five one two. Uh, uh, this was. Oh, the other number was eight, wasn't it? So we've got eight blocking up here and eight blocking up here, and that's going to be an eight that we can get there. So we have 3 and 6 blocking up here. So these two digits are 3 and 6. So here we have 1, 2, and 7. And we've got 1 and 7 in the same row, so that's got to be a 2. Now, 2 blocking down here and 2 blocking down here and 2 across there means that that is a 2. And definitely it's going to put 2s up there from what I can see. Ah, now I can get this, can't I? Because I remember this was 4 and 7, but I have forgotten what goes here. But this was 4 and 7, so this is uh, 5 and 6. And so this is a 1. Um, one and six. So 1 and 6 block across here. So we've got 1 and 6 here. Uh, which puts the ones down there, sixes we already have. And that means that this is four and nine. Four and nine, four and nine. Um, so this is five and eight. So we've got the five blocking here, so that will be the five. And that will be the eight. Uh, 5 blocking down here now, that puts the 5 into that square. That's our 5, 1, 2 now resolved that we found earlier. Okay. Uh, in this section here. What, what are the other numbers here and here? Uh, 4, 9 is it? Okay. And this was 4, 9 as well, wasn't it, over here? We've got 4, 9. Oh, we've got 9s there. Okay, how about the 4s?
Um, so we had three and six blocking ooh, up all the way up here. So this was three and six. So this has to be one and seven. So I can get this. Uh, it's not one or seven. It's got to be four. Ah, and this, of course, we had our seven and four blocking there, didn't we, originally? So that is a seven. Um, seven down here and seven across here gives me a seven in that square. Three blocking across here puts a three into that square. And that's going to give me threes in those squares. Like this, We're in, we've got one of those... Um, uh, not very nice situations. We'll finish off here with a two. Um, I have a feeling this block here is going to be suggestive. Suggestive digestive. Uh, but no, we've got fives blocking up here and across there so that's going to put five into that square and we've got threes blocking up here like this so that puts a three up there three across here and three up here means that that is a three and then we've got six blocking up here gives us the six in that square Missing numbers down here are 3, 4, 6 and 7. 3, 4, 7 are here. So this has got to be a 6. And 6 blocks across here. That gives me a 6 in that square. Missing number here is a 5. 5 across, across here, up here and down Dale there. 5 in that square. That's the five. Our first completed digit. Ta-da! We have got ourselves... Uh, a f completed digit which is five so I can work out what goes in this block here just think uh, but maybe this oh no. so this is three and seven Uh, and this is one and um, one and four, three seven there, one four here, and so this is two and eight, and I don't have enough upwards and downwards <laughs> motion here to decide on any of those just yet. Um, I've forgotten what goes here. Um, four and oh, four and nine, wasn't it? And this is one and six. So has ah, yeah, no. Uh, yes. Now we have one up here. So one blocks down here, blocking down here, blocking down here. One blocking across. So that can't be a one. This must be a one. And then we can get the last number in this column, which will be a four, I think four blocks across here so that gives us a four in that square the missing number here is a nine um, nine across here and nine down here gives me the nine in that square <clears throat>
Oh, look. Just one empty square down here. I was looking all up here. My eyes were <laughs> up there. This happens to me so often. I don't know why I don't... I don't know what happens, but I kind of look in the wrong place so often. There's something obviously there, and I just can't see it. But that's what happens when I play Sudoku. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And that's what happens when I play Sudoku quite often. I see 8 and 9 blocking across here now, so I know that 8 and 9 are in those squares there. And this is going to be a 6. Back down here now, there's only a 2 that we need to place there. And for this column, we just need a 4 to finish it off. And uh, Okay, we're almost there. There's a little bit more to, to be done. Okay, we have four blocking this square and four blocking this square, so that puts a four up there. We have 7 up here and 7 across here. So 7 is in one of these two squares blocking across. So that must be our 7. This will be our 1. 1 blocks this way. Here's a 1. The last number here is a 2. We need a 2 for that row at the top there. We have 2 blocking down here. And we have 2 across these rows, which means that's a 2. The last number to place here, I think, is an 8. Uh, we have 8 going up and 8 across here. That gives me an eight in that square and uh, one number left across here which is a nine uh, then we take the nine down here like this and nine across there's another nine we can place um, one number left here what are you what are you four I think you are four blocking up here down here and across there so that gets rid of the fours now here we just need a one and then one blocking down here puts one in that square. The last number to place here is a six. Six going up here, up here, there's a six. Uh, this looks like it should be a seven. And seven obviously blocks that square there, so that would be a seven. And just here we'll need a three, there we'll need a three, and that's the end of the Los Angeles Times expert level for Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Live your best life, give up smoking, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.